Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 118, and today I have some pay dirt from a company that I actually hold in really high regards. Um, I've been a member of the GPAA since 2016 or 17, I think 2016. And they actually sell a gold pay dirt product on GPAAstore.com. And um, no matter how much I really hold this you know, company in high regards, I still got to keep them in check. So this is the golden dirt bag uh, from GPAAstore.com. Um, on the website, there's no guaranteed minimum amount of gold. That's really the reason I wanted to do a review on this company because they don't guarantee a minimum amount of gold. And whenever you see that, that's the biggest red flag. Now it is only $39.95. With shipping, it was $50.18. So it's a $40 bag of pay dirt, $10 shipping. Um, yeah, and I also have two other bags. I have the big one and the baby one. So we're gonna start with the medium size one first. Um, these are going to be separate videos, these other ones, so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done so already, um, if you want to see those videos. Um, anyway, let's take this out to the Panda Station, we'll chop it open, and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, here it is, the Golden Dirt Bag from GPAAStore.com. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and rip this open. Curious to see what the GPAA is giving people. I'm sure you guys want to know too if you're watching this video. So, all right. It's all extremely fine material. Looks like sand. Let's go ahead and pour it out and get a closer look. All right. I hate these kind of bags. The dirt likes to get stuck in these little crevices. So, um, also, you can see inside, the material's not exactly dry. It's sticking to the inside. So you guys probably already know the solution to that. Spray it out real good. I'll quickly pan this back just to see if there's anything in there that we missed. And I do not see any gold. However, there's a lot of mica in there floating around. See that, all that sparkly stuff? Lots and lots of mica. So this might be more challenging, and there's also black sand in there, so this might be more challenging than I'm expecting. All right, so first off, first thing I'm noticing, there's no big material in there. It's all extremely fine. So we don't really have to classify it. Um, but what we're gonna do for, we may classify it, but first we're gonna go ahead and use my secret weapon to remove magnetic material. That is my strong neodymium magnet on the end of a nut driver inside of a silver dollar tube. So let's go ahead and remove the magnetic material from this. The reason we do this, um, remove the magnetic material, is to make the panning process probably 10 times easier. So let's see if there's even any magnetic material in it. Not a lot at all. So this process here saves about, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, depending on how much black sand is in there. So removing the magnetic material didn't really help us out any, but I do have another trick up my sleeve. It's not really a trick, it's just kind of common knowledge. It's classifying. So when you classify really fine material, it splits up your pay dirt, and that makes it a lot easier to pan those sizes. We can go another size. All right, that's good enough. This step might not even be necessary. It's because I haven't even panned anything out yet to see how difficult it is. Okay, here we have our biggest, medium, and smallest classifications. You can see the smallest stuff here, basically dust. So this is gonna be really easy to pan out um, in comparison to having all three mixed together, right? So let's go ahead and start panning it. So let's bring over Krusty Rusty. I'll add some water and some surfactant. That'll break the surface tension of the water so the really small gold can't float away. And that could be anything like jet dry or dish soap or anything like that. 
All right, we're gonna start with the most coarse of the three. Look at that, it's panning right off. Extremely easy so far. That doesn't mean anything yet. Once We won't know until we get down to the black sands, if there is any. Look at that, it's panning off like play sand. All right, let's see if there's any gold in it. Oh yeah, there is gold. Some nice flakes in there. That's gonna be the biggest gold we find, right there. All right, awesome. All right, we're on to the next size. Extremely easy to pan, especially for the largest classification, but that's expected as well. The most difficult is gonna be our finest size. That's if there's some really fine flower gold, we'll find out. Yeah. I'm not even trying and this stuff is just washing right off. If you guys um, are not members of the GPAA, I personally don't use their claims very much. I've only used them a few times. I just don't honestly have the time. I got so many other things going on. But you can camp on, I think, most if not all of the GPAA claims. Um, you can pan for gold, you can metal detect on some of them, and you find out all that information once you get the, once you become a member and get the book, it'll tell you the locations and everything. This video is not sponsored by GPAA, I'm just telling you, since it's a GPAA pay dirt, I'm just telling you what I know about it. I enjoy it um, when I do go out, and there's always some options out there when I travel around. I could stop in pretty much, I don't know, I can't remember how many states, I'll put that number here. Um, California, there's Nevada, Arizona, Colorado here. All right, let's see if there's any gold in it. There's lots of black sand, but it's not heavy black sand. It's kind of like organic and it's just panning away. There's the gold, a couple more flakes. One flake there. Yeah, about five or six, 10 flakes there. And finally we have our dust. Let's see if there's any really, really fine gold in this stuff. Normally I would pan this out one spoonful at a time, but I have a, it's very light in my hand. I don't think it's gonna be very difficult. <laughs> the first thing I notice is all that mica floating around. You see it in there? Yeah, look at that. All that shiny mica. If you guys um, want to learn how to pan for gold, definitely check out my gold panning tutorial video there. Um, if you've never panned for gold and you want to no step-by-step step how to do it. It's a pretty decent video. Yeah, there is some black sand in here. As I tilt it forward, now it disappeared. If you look at this area right back here, you'll see it's like a line of black sand. That's all the heavy material going to the bottom of the pan, which is the whole purpose of panning. Hopefully there's some yellow in there. It's panning off very easily. This is, right now, the most, technically the most difficult part of the panning process, the very last of the fine stuff. And it's, it's going right off, no problem. All right, now we're getting down to some black sands here. I'm gonna go ahead and stop panning. Just one more up close shot for you. Let me back out a little bit, there you go. You can see the blonde sands and the mica washing off, leaving the black sands behind. But some of the black sands are also rolling off, so that's pretty much telling me I should stop there. All right, let's spin it back, see if there's any gold. I think we have some quartz dust in there mixed in with this black sand. That's that whitish looking material. All right. Getting to the end, I'm not seeing anything in this smaller size. So that's what they do. They they add flakes like this to make it pretty easy to pan out. They're just small flakes. Um, now, how much did we pay for this? Um, 
it's $39, $40, dollars $10 shipping. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and we will dry it out, we'll weigh it up and we'll get a value on it. So we had 0.4, was it 44 grams, something like that. Uh, we'll call it 24 karat purity because you can resell natural plaster gold just like this to pay dirt vendors like myself. If you guys have gold and you want to sell it, clutchgold.com, click the sell your gold button. I'll send you a quote and I will buy your gold. So the value is $25.33. We spent about $40 plus $10 shipping, that's actually not terrible. We're right at that 50% ROI. So not too bad. Um, I was, I mean, the thing is this kind of pay dirt, it's pretty easy to pan out. Um, it's all big flakes and stuff. It's, I would give it like out of the difficulty level from a one to a 10, it's probably like a two. So you're not really getting like that, that you know, that experience too much. You are gonna find gold, um, but there's there's a lot of different options out there where you can find pay dirts with different difficulty levels and everything to give you a different panning experience. But um, I you know that ain't bad at all. Um, I would actually recommend that this bag. It's 50% return on investment or better, so it's definitely not a rip off. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. Check out all my other videos. I don't just do gold pay dirt videos. These are kind of like filler videos. I do gold prospecting and metal detecting and scuba diving and geocaching and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also big thanks to all my major credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also if you enjoyed this video, you're really gonna like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out and I'll see you guys on the next video.